Hi everyone, Karen here from Holistic Essentials Therapy and Consulting, bringing to you this week's energy forecast and insights for Monday the 18th of March through until Sunday the 24th of March 2024. As we move into this week ahead, we have Mercury entering into its shadow phase. So what this means is it's kind of going quiet. It's starting to slow down as it prepares to go into retrograde. Now, I think Mercury gets a really bad rap and Mercury is the planet of communication. So it's it's there to guide and support you to attune yourself to the messages and the nudges of your intuition. It's there to provide a gateway for you to be more receptive and open to the messages of the universe. We also have this week the autumn equinox and it's actually also my wedding anniversary but the autumn equinox here in Australia is on Wednesday the 20th and what this means as most of you probably know by now the equinox is when we have equal hours of daylight and night and so there's this slowing down there's this sense of balance and harmony you know like it's perfect balance isn't it it's when our giving and receiving can be in balance it's when we can bring more life work balance in or recognize where there needs to be more work life balance I think that's really important I think it's really important for us as human beings to ensure that everything that we are doing is in balance and harmony that we are giving as much as we're taking, that we are nourishing, but that we're also giving back. You know, if we're taking foods from the planet, if we're taking from the planet, if we're taking from the earth, what, what can we give back? You know, that may be that you plant some plants, that may be that you tend your garden, that may be that you get amongst nature and appreciate nature. And, on this day it is said that we are with mother nature the energy of mother nature is more accessible to us because this brings a vibration of harmony into the energy of the earth the energetic grids of the earth it's again it's like mother nature mother nature mother nature it's time to breathe. You know, there's this, we all are so busy and we're so caught up in our heads that we forget to breathe. And as the planet moves into higher harmony, so too do you. You do this on an energetic level. You do this on an emotional level and a physical level. So it is also a powerful day to inward reflect on what it is that you want to bring more of into your life so it's a good day to set intentions or get clear on your intentions it's also a good day to tune into the energies of the planet to cleanse and clear and align and replenish and rejuvenate your chakras your energy centers get your feet in the water get your feet in the earth allow yourself to breathe you know stand before a tree and share the experience of breathing with the tree there's a communion there's a communion between human beings and all life on the planet and I've said this over and over again we are not separate from the planet we are not separate from the universe we are not separate from source you are not separate from your higher self or your soul I think also we underestimate the healing properties and the gift of healing that mother nature 
the planet Earth wants to provide us with. The earth is wanting to support you in your survival, in your ability to thrive, in your nourishment and your sustenance. And it wants very much for you to grow and evolve, for you to reach your highest potential. You know, I just have this really beautiful sense that mother earth sees us as, you know, just like the trees and the flowers and, the grasses and everything else that blooms and grows on this on the surface of this earth she sees us as her children we are a part of her and she is a part of us and so everything that she has everything that we need to thrive to flourish and to bloom and the more that we can connect with nature the deeper the healing will be for you the more your intuition will open and the more you will thrive and the more you will appreciate the interwoven and interconnectedness of all living things on this planet we are all connected yes we all serve a purpose yes we all have our roles but it's really important for us to take responsibility for our roles especially as we have venus she's so present at the moment aligning with saturn and so it's and that's in pisces so there's this really beautiful energy of connecting to the heart softening in self-judgment and criticism of self and others and taking responsibility for your role in your life and in the situations around you how are you contributing to your own well-being how are you contributing to your own disconnection and i want to say there was a word that popped in and it's gone now it's um it's discord how are you contributing to your own discord how are you contributing or enabling situations around you and can you pull back and take responsibility and reassess and ask yourself what is what is the role I want to play what is the part in this situation what is my role and we have amazing this thing called free will <laughs> and choice where we can actually cho choose to change we can make the choice to change we can make the choice to make a different choice um, we can always choose again. We can always change our path. We can always change our choices. That is what free will is. And that is what sovereignty is. Taking back your own power, taking back your own control and taking back responsibility for where you want to be in your life. We also have Mars entering into Pisces. So again, there's this soft, gentle energy. It's, it's, like, it's almost like, I'm like looking at, I'm looking at the fiery energy of Mars and then this beautiful watery energy of Pisces and when the two come together it's just like this gentle, it's steam, it's steamy um, and so this is where you're given the reprieve to take a breath and take a step back and to make the choice to be present to how you're feeling and going with the flow rather than trying to control or resist so if you can let go of the need to control and let go of resistance then you will find that there is ease and flow that comes into your experience um and you know as we're heading towards the end of the week there is the energy that is building up for um and it's a collective energy right the moon does impact us we are aligned to the cosmos what i feel intuitively is that because there are so many people on the planet that align themselves to the energy of the experience of a of an eclipse that um, when you have millions of people feeding into that then that amplifies it even more so i 
invite you to get really personal with yourself, get really honest with yourself about how you're feeling and really honest with yourself in what is the experiences that you are wanting to create for yourself and to invite in for yourself at this time in your life. And you know, I hear this saying all the time, if not now, when? But it's so true. If not now, when will you do that thing that you've been wanting to do for such a long time? If not now, then when? We will never have enough time. There's always more than enough time. That's what I tell myself all the time. But we will always find excuses. We will always find excuses as to all of the reasons why you can't do what you want to do and a contributing factor to a lot of that is our limiting beliefs and our subconscious programming so if you could imagine for a moment that there were no limitations no restrictions ask yourself what would i do if i could do anything what would I do if I could do anything? And then sit with that for a moment, meditate on that, journal on that. And you know, it could be more than one thing, but really give yourself time to reflect on that. Because sometimes you just don't know what you don't know. And unless you give yourself the space to explore and get curious and inward reflect, how are you to know what it is that you want in your life? How are you to know what your heart's desires are? People can't tell us. Well, people try and tell us, don't they? But nobody knows you like you know you. There is not, apart from, aside from your soul and God consciousness, source consciousness, the creator of all that is, nobody else on the planet knows you like you do and let that sink in for a moment because you are the person waiting for you mm. all right what else can we expect in this week ahead that was that was i felt that i felt that so deeply in my heart thank you my beautiful guides all right Do we need to what else are we working with in this week ahead what can support us energetically all right this one palladian activation <laughs> i love it every time i just love it do you see do you see the um the alignment as clearly as what i do coming together harmony in the heavens resolution love 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 this love it so this is about harmony and balance in this week ahead it's about coming into harmony with your own desires your own values your own integrity it's about coming into alignment and harmony with the way that you nourish yourself and your body self-care it's harmony in relationships relationship that you have with yourself the universe with others with the planet um, there's also there's also deep healing energy coming in and I know the Pleiades planet is blue well that's what I've seen in my past life regressions um, it's there is a real blue energy that comes through with them and I can really see that and it's so interesting because I've really been really drawn to blue lately um, and there's such so for me what i'm feeling and sensing is the connection to the color blue it is our emotions it is breathing like there's this feeling of being able to expand my breath um there's a cleansing and healing energy so just take a moment just take a moment to close your eyes and just sense and visual, visualize this incredibly powerful gentle loving blue light and it has silver through it mm. and it's coming down from it is palladian energy so it's coming down from that star system the planets from these incredibly highly evolved beings 
and this blue energy is flowing down. It's pure of intent. It's flowing down from the ethers, the astral, the cosmos. And it's flowing down and it's like a shower of light and energy. And it is flowing down and it's touching the top of your head, your crown chakra, and then it's cascading right around your whole body. And as it cascades around your body, almost like a waterfall, this vibrant energy of harmony, of well-being, of balance, it flows into every cell of your body lighting up every cell of your body with this incredible brilliant healing blue light notice how it clears your lungs allowing you the ability to breathe even more deeply and it also brings in this harmony and this energy into your energy centers. And it also clears any distortions. It soothes and settles your nervous system. Mm, and it aligns you to the frequency of the earth as well as the frequency of the Pallanes. Reminding you that you are capable of more than even you could imagine. And when your intentions and your heart are of, are of impure intent, you come from a place of service for the highest good of yourself and others you are beyond ego and above ego and when the intention is for the good and well-being of all there is relief in this there is a frequency presence and that is mother earth that is the divine and these incredible beings the Pallades and they are cheering you on they are hmm, lovingly guiding you to the right actions the right thoughts the right people the right places for you to evolve to thrive and to flourish. Mm, thank you, thank you, thank you. When you're ready, opening your eyes. Okay. Heart activation. Mm, creative intelligence. I love this. When you tune into the wisdom of your heart and allow your heart to be the guide allow yourself to flow with creativity now for you that might be something to do with craft it might be music it might be drawing painting coloring in whatever it is whatever it is that allows you to express your innate creativity and when you do that it brings joy to you it opens up the part of you that perhaps overthinks everything <clears throat> excuse me the part of you that doesn't allow yourself to express and when we can't always do that verbally or even when we can't 
even you know there's moments when we can't even there's so much emotion there's so many feelings there's so many thoughts that it gets in the way it clouds your ability to get to the bottom of what it is that you really want and so when you can tap into your own innate creativity and express that without expectation without judgment without you know letting go of all of the bullshit around that just let yourself be in that moment that's when problems solutions to problems arise flow appear but it's also it's deeply healing because it allows you to tap into that childlike wonder of you know children just see the world through the eyes of magic they just see magic everywhere you know they just they have so much wonder and joy in being here and this is this is this is the guidance for our hearts this week is to come back into that sense and alignment with that sense of wonder and joy and curiosity and creativity and imagination allow yourself to daydream and use your imagination She's around so much at the moment. The mother of the universe. I release all that doesn't serve me. It's time to be the truth of who I am. Mm. I think we had Carly's daughter last week. Um, but she's very present. She's actually been coming into a lot of the healings that I've been doing with my clients. And, um, and she's very much present in my own life at the moment. And... The message from her really is to, um, you know, Carly, she can be depicted. She is the destructor in that she breaks down the illusions. She breaks down what no longer serves us. Um, but she's also there to support us in recognizing, oh, it's, it's recognizing the truth, the truth of who we are the truth of our desires. She's here to support us in taking responsibility. And she's also here to support us in our transformations, in our evolving, of, our, of letting go of the old paradigms that no longer serve you, of letting go of the all the baggage, of letting go of everything that holds you back so that you can literally evolve and bloom and thrive into the highest version of yourself so allow her she's she has the mother of the universe she has unconditional love she has unconditional love but she is also truth and there is no bullshitting or um you know fluffiness in actual divine truth right so she's there to support you in that in seeking the truth for yourself seeking the truth in a situation seeking the truth of the universe of course we're not going to get all the answers to that are we not while we're here in this physical form but we'll get glimpses and insights that will support us in our awakening in our ascension in um yeah arising into the highest version of ourselves so i hope that those messages serve you well please share um, and as always, please be kind and gentle with yourself. You know, you deserve your own compassion and kindness and gentleness. That is the greatest gift that you can give to yourself and the planet is to actually love yourself in spite of all the wrongs you think you've done, in spite of all the imperfections you think you have, the greatest gift that you can give to this planet, to the human collective, is to love yourself. As always, have a great week. Namaste, blessed be, and I shall see you next week. Bye.